Hey everybody, it's Toe Gamer Junkie, and I welcome you all back to my channel. Now, before this um, video starts, I just want to say uh, I finished a walkthrough of um, Hellblade Tenuous Sacrifice, and that's currently editing because I've got to edit the commentary in that to get rid of the background noise. And uh, w once that's edited and I'll upload it, then I'll be playing. Uh, then I'll be making a walkthrough of Resident Evil Zero, because when I um, when I make a walkthrough of um, when I'm because well, I use Filmora to edit, so when I'm making, when I'm recording with Elgato, Filmora uh, slows down the editing process. So I'm gonna wait for for Filmora to properly edit it. Then I'm gonna um, what do you call it? Then I'm gonna start making a Resident Evil Zero walkthrough. Now this video right here, it, um, it's a trailer I got notified by the 14 new upcoming horror games of 2019 and beyond for PC, PS4, and Xbox One. Let's let's take a look. <laughs> The beast inside. Ah, yeah. This is actually um. I'm actually going to be playing this game on my channel because I actually, uh, when this was like Kickstarter, I actually um funded it. So I got a Steam key. So when the game does come out, I'll be playing it. Because um, I was originally um, what was it? I, um, I think it was a demo that came out like last week or something. And I was meant to um, upload shit. And I was meant to um, upload it, um, because I got to make a walkthrough, but I didn't have a mouse, so really I couldn't really do anything. Because, like, I've got to use, like, the touch thing, and then... Oh, shit. That scared me. So you can't really, like, move and click at the same time, and that's so stupid. That's why i got to buy a mouse. Dayman. What's the name? Dayman 1988. This is... It's coming. Alright, it's good. more creepy yet. Oh, it's a new game. Unholy. Alright, it is unholy. Uh, what the hell is all this? It's like an agony game, you know, like where you're in hell and that. I haven't played agony, but I know like it's set in hell. Oh shit. Oh, I think you're playing as a woman, so I'm hearing like. Oh! Yeah, I think it's a woman. So you're hearing like a kind of lady's voice and that, like. <laughs> Sounds feminine, though, gasping and that. Lust from Beyond. Yeah, I actually, um, because I actually, um, uh, pledged, um, uh, on Kickstarter, Lust for Darkness, and I got a message about Lust, Lust, um, Lust for Beyond, or Lust from Beyond. What was it called again? Lust from Beyond, yeah. And, um, it's set in the same world, but you gotta play, but you're gonna be playing as someone different. Now, I, since I don't have a mouse, I haven't played the game again, but I really should play it. I'll put it on my Kickstarter. I mean, I'll put it on my YouTube channel as well. From what I played in the demo though, it was like, freaked me out for the sexual stuff. I'd have to censor it out, I guess. Because if I look on YouTube, then I'll have to look at, um, look to see, like, if channel other channels have been censoring it and that, seeing what I can put on there, because I'm not too sure. And there's the sexual stuff happening. Because apparently, I don't know too much, but there's like some type of sex god or something? I don't know. That isn't freaky or anything. Is that the lady there that we're looking at? Or no, we're going past her, are we? Going past her. We going to that guy over there, or the lady over there, or are we going past them too? It's like a thing around its dick, my god. And then the woman's had them around their breasts and low, lower area down there as well. What the hell is this? Blackout, March 2019. Maya, it's you. 
Oh, oh shit, it's a legendary. I didn't, oh man, I, was like, I didn't even see a face there. I was just focusing on the area. I was like, ah. Oh, okay. Oh, yep, definitely the antagonist. What's this one? Another radio one. Corrupt, I was thinking, oh god, this is another outlast. But I'd play that too, I still got to play one. And I fin actually finished one and whistleblower at my friend's house when I was playing it with him, but I don't mind playing him again. I got over my fear of it now. So, yeah. There's not much time left. You need to get out of here. You're not safe here. Corrupt. I have no idea what that's about. I saw how the R was backwards. Absolov, end of gods. <laughs> like nothing but a used toy. Chewed on, thrown away. That's the condition you were in when Odin brought you to me. That's your arm there, this little robotic there. Oh my god. Because I fixed you. No, you know what? I made you better. Yeah. Oh. Okay, I'll put those on too. Huh? I'll put those oh, on too. I read it earlier because on my tea break it said Miss Brooke and Bailey, but when I looked it said 7.30, so it must have been after I left when you went to get... Yeah. What did you read me for? Oh, because the bread, it was $2.90, it wasn't $2. It's not 80. Yeah, yeah. Worse. Yeah, but I got bread out there, but um, it didn't say, it said soft bread, it wasn't whole yeah, meal. Yeah, you go in the bread aisle. I was in the bread aisle. No, that's from the bakery. That's in Woolies. I bought that in Woolies. Yeah, but that's for the bakery then bags. We go, there's a bread aisle. Oh, aisle what? two or three with all bread. Oh, now you tell me. It's got Woolworths, the dollar eighty bread. Well, that's why I've always bought bread at the sides. No, no. You go. There's a bread aisle. You know how you got the dairy section? Yeah. The yogurts. Two aisles with the next aisle. All right, all right. You want your fan on? I don't know if you want to turn it on. It's not that hot to me. No, but... air conditioning in the shopping center and our work it wasn't working properly today. We were melting. No, that's a shame. And plus, bought us a cold drink, like a, I had an iced chocolate, bought everyone a, like, a cold drink. Yay. Alright. No, it's only coffee. Okay. Alright, sorry about that, people. Alright, let's get uh, back to it. Chewed on, thrown away. That's the condition. So, yeah, she has like a robot arm there. I know it's that. That's because I fixed you. No, you know what? I made you better. I don't think that's better. Okay, I got some strange symbols there. Oh, it's like some alien type shit with the vents. What the hell is that? What the hell is that? Oh, I thought I got this one. Um, I forget the name though, but you team up. It's um, if you team up with three players and you get to these areas and that, and apparently one of you could get left behind um, if you're not careful on that. One of you can get trapped in the rooms or something like that. I'm not too sure about what really happens, but yeah. This one exploded. It looks like it threw out eggs. Maybe I might get that. The mystery made of lies deep inside. I don't know what this the one is. Of a 
faithful lover, held captive at her family's side. Beasts pursuing, seek my undoing. Seeing our demise. Her will consenting. Ah, I see the fire there because I'm scolding. Preventing. Down already. Isn't Scorn a sequel to Agony? I'm not too sure, but I don't know if I'll get it. I don't think so. But I think it might be a sequel to Agony. to it or it might be a prequel but it does look eerie fami eerily familiar the settings and the creatures and that that's a bigger one like a shotgun oh it is a shotgun I assume there yeah. There's an alien one, I think there was. Um, I think there's an alien game coming out. Not like alien as in alien isolation, that. Like, I mean, an actual alien game where you play as this mother and a child gets abducted or something. I'm not too sure. What is that? Whiskey. Yeah, mixing whiskey with alcohol, that is a good combination. Oh! Mama! Can we go behind you? Please? She wearing like a corset? She's not dead after that. If she can turn her head around like that, then yeah, she's definitely still alive. She's gonna grab you. She's gonna grab you. Oh my god, here she is again. Or is that a different one? No, it's a different lady. Oh god. Yes. Someday this was you'll supposed to be easy. <laughs> Just track her down again, bring her home. I had no idea how wrong I was, and how far I would really have to go. Search for the missing girl continues in the dark. Please, tell me that she's safe. Your hysterics aren't helping. Stop calling me. Okay, then. Huh. 
This looks interesting. Light in the fire. Succubus. Oh god, yeah, okay, this is... Yeah, I'm pretty sure I heard this one. It's, um, DLC for Agony, where you play as a succubus, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, you eat that heart. Oh, okay, she just uses power on him then. To weaken him somehow. Nice. Not nice. So if you can make it to... Well, I would assume that suck... Well, there are different variations of succubuses, like... Some of them have the um, goat's feet as well, some don't. A stormy some have horns on the head, some don't. And at times oh, well, I definitely want to get this. To know the right thing apparently to do. this is meant to be like an but apology series. That there is no right and it's from the people that made, I believe, no Until Dawn Triumph that we love. Make decisions according to our if you own die on the ship, then, and then we have to you die on the ship, decisions. then your soul is stuck on there. And more compass, yet when you go under the... More compasses like your characters, the root like the growing horror, like in order personality to in that and that evil, that. and save the lives of five unfortunate stowaways. Success will depend entirely on the decisions that you make. Decisions made in haste, made with the heart instead of the head, okay, or on the vice water. versa. Decisions that may take some time to reveal their repercussions, but there are. Repercussions. There are always repercussions. Yeah, this is definitely going on my channel when it comes out. Uh, I promise you that. The Dark Pictures Anthology. So it's Man of Medane is one of four. And there's Julia. him from Quantum Break and X-Men. Oh my god. God, when I saw her face, there, I was like, kind of reminds me of like a 40s, a 1950s type lady. Anyway, so that's the end of the video. I hope you all enjoyed it, and uh, I'm sorry that my mom popped in, but I hope you enjoyed seeing her too. So, um, uh, after this video, is I'm gonna be uploading my walkthrough of Hellblades and Your Sacrifice, and I'm gonna start work on oh, my second walkthrough of R Resident Evil Zero. Um, so look out for those. Anyways, I'll leave a link to the to the original channel and to this video in the description below. And make sure you give uh, the person who uploaded it a like or or subscribe to their channel or a dislike, whatever you want. This is Toby Junkie signing off.